Hey everyone, Forex here. I'm planning to update my maze mission with some more stuff and things to do. It's a nice way to practice Arma scripting and I thought, why not make a video from the development? I would like to show you some of the mission parts and explain how they work. Not really a classic tutorial, more like a script showcase, just so that you can see different code examples and hopefully it will be at least a little bit entertaining for someone out there. So I didn't really think this video idea through, so instead of starting with something logical, some basics or main scripts, I'm gonna show you a new planned feature that I'm working on right now, and we'll go through the generation scripts and such in some other video maybe. For now, let's talk about what I'm working on for the future update, and one of the features that I want to add and is mostly implemented already is a seed system. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with this system, it basically means that you will be able to write a seed, which is going to be some number, and no matter what, the generated maze will always be the same. That means that the maze generation is no longer completely random, and you can either compete against other players by sharing the maze size and the seed, or just practice the same maze over and over. You don't need to worry. I have made the seed number large enough and implemented it very carefully so that you still get pretty much an infinite number of different combinations. Also the maze is influenced by the size of course, so a bigger maze looks different than a small maze with the same seed, often even if you change the size by one. Plus there are more than enough seeds to create every combination possible anyway, so the number of different combinations is still practically unlimited. Of course, if you feel lucky, you can just leave the seed filled blank and the game will generate one for you. Well, I'm using a very frequently used formula to generate random numbers. If you wish to have a look, just look up RNG, random number generator. It's quite a frequently used thing and there are enough materials all over the internet for it. I'm using this one and whatever number you put in, you can keep iterating the results through this same formula over and over and it will generate relatively random numbers each time. The next step for me is to transform these numbers into a form that I can use in the scripts. Right now they are all over the place and wouldn't help me very much with any maze creating, so I save all the generated numbers in an array, currently containing a thousand numbers. In the future it will probably be less just to save memory for lower end PCs and all those numbers then go through several loops where I pick the lowest one and then divide each number by this minimum and ultimately divide by 4 and keep the remainder in the array. In the end my array contains randomly distributed numbers from 0 to 3 and that's something I can work with in the maze. The very first number in the array is used to create the exit or more specifically, choose the spot for the exit. The sixth number in the array is used to select the initial direction in which the generation algorithm goes, and all other numbers then serve as direction indicators to tell the algorithm where to go next. All of this is already taken care of by the generation algorithm itself, and it only takes numbers from the seed array and makes a maze with them. I'm using a single variable that increases with each generating cycle, that allows me to go through the seed array and use the next number each time. I also had to add a condition for when the number is too big, so that I can't get out of the array size. It just goes back to the lower values and starts again. With larger mazes it can happen quite often that there are more than a thousand cycles needed to fully go through a maze, and in that case the script starts taking the same numbers again. That means that potentially, if the maze was big enough, you could generate it and see the same pattern being repeated, because it only uses a thousand direction commands over and over. But in this case, the maze size is way too small and no pattern can even be created or recognized. I'm looking forward to the testing phase, where hopefully we'll be able to better determine the right amount of elements for the seed array so that no pattern can be created in the maze, and at the same time the mission takes the least amount of memory. The script can be pretty demanding as is, and every addition to it can be too much for some PCs, slowing down the whole generating process. 
Well, anyway, I think I described it well enough, maybe too well actually. So this is one of the features. As you can see, it's almost done, so it will surely be in the update. I don't know yet when that's gonna be, but I will be working on it in the spare time when I have nothing else to do, and one day it will be ready. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, people. That's it for this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Comment, like, and share. Have a great day.